hello, hello, hello for week four, or I guess the fourth update. I kind of realize it's been more like five weeks, but we skipped a week because we got really busy. Let's move on. For my weight, I have seen the drop happen. I am. I weighed in this morning at 187. Um, started actually dropping weight about two days ago, so I've been 189, 188, and 187 as of this morning. So I also realized that I could be attributing to this weight loss. Um, I started a new medication about four weeks ago and it takes about four weeks for you to get used to it. So I think this is also just my body kind of acclimating to that. So that is it in terms of my weight. Progress, it is nice to see that the scale has finally caught up to what I am seeing in the mirror. So yeah, getting good. Uh, definitely kind of feeling it in the gym now. I'm entering into week four and it's kind of starting to get a little heavy. I think I'm at like 95 percent what my PR is because of how Matt and I set my working weights. I think I added like 15 to 25 pounds to um, each of my actual PRs just to train at a higher level because I want to increase what I can push. Um, so I'm 95 at 95% now of all my PR. So definitely feeling it, especially in a caloric deficit and, you know, Texas heat and running around after a two and a half year old. So I'm glad to be seeing progress in spite of all the negatives. <laughs> in terms of how the workout split is going, I have, last week I mentioned I was focusing on form. So this week there was a deadlift focus. Lift is probably the most accurate in terms of what I can do with it. It's always really been on par with any program I'm doing. Um, just from the beginning, five years ago, when I started lifting, deadlift was just one that I felt safe doing. Um, I didn't feel like I could really hurt myself that much. I mean, you know, you can pull your back, but you just drop the weight and you don't have to worry about, you know, it crushing you or your chest. <laughs> it just kind of drops to the ground. And as long as your toes are out of the way, uh, you're good and since I deadlift conventional my toes are out of the way uh, It's giving me it's it's a struggle to get through deadlifts lately um, because they are so a accurate um, and plus I think we added 25 pounds to the deadlift PR so I am really really pushing myself on them um, so just like squats form is something I know that I have to really with start on 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 deadlifts because um, I think I'm at that point well. where sheer strength I really just isn't going to do it. Even though I tried to lift all my breakfasts um, last week, to come into play just to today. I've been on track, track with my second to make sure that I save my joints as well. So, so now we just workout work split is to also going really well with what my lunch is. And so so far, I have found that I am good if I just have tacos available. So ground meat and tortillas are really all I need in my life for lunch. Um. Breakfasts are the oatmeal with the collagen, and then I have the protein shake after that, and then vitamins go with the protein shake, and then, you know, a few hours later I have lunch, which has been just ground meat and tacos, and I've really been enjoying it. I've also been really making sure that I'm getting my water in, not just because I know that it's, you know, I should be, but with how active I'm getting and with how much hotter it's starting to get in Texas, I know that that's going to be really important, especially since we work out in a garage. Uh, we do have some type of cooling, but it's really just fans and a box AC uh, and there's no insulation. But luckily, the when it's where the sun is beating down the most is actually it's beating against just our brick wall from the backyard and not on the garage door. Um, so that helps a lot. Our last house, the afternoon sun beat into the garage on the garage door into the garage so there's really like no escaping it um so this is much nicer <laughs> so with the kind of nutrition talk also comes kind of a not really an upset just something that i also think may have attributed to finally seeing some weight loss on the scale um i had been eating i hadn't eaten egg whites for a few months and then started eating them again when summer hit and i started getting serious about cutting weight again 
started getting heartburn. I don't really get, I'm not someone who gets heartburn, um, bloating, indigestion, just gassy. And so we took egg whites out. And after about a week, I started feeling good again. Um, so we're kind of leaving them out, which, I mean, I did go without them for four months, but every time I've had to do a weight cut, I've always really relied on <laughs> egg whites. So that has been something to get around. Um, but it's it's good. Uh, it was really a surprise. I think I, I may have given myself an egg allergy. Um, I don't know, just a lot of things post-pregnancy, things have been weird. Egg allergy has been one. Um, Aria loves eggs though, and she'll eat egg whites, whole eggs, she doesn't care. Uh, so, kind of sucks. Matt really isn't eating them either. Um, I, can, I can eat egg in something like that. As long as it's like mixed in and other stuff is with it, I can eat it just fine. Um, it's just when it's by itself, I have difficulty. So that's, uh, kind of sucks, kind of whatever. Um, I might feel differently once I get to go back to work. <laughs> I'd be like, man, I miss eggs because they used to be really fast. But that's, that's just a big event that's kind of happened that has uh, made me start getting more creative with how I get um, lean protein in. So. Uh, and lastly, mentality. Um, I'm doing really well. I think I'm getting more stressed that I have like three weeks left of summer vacation before having to go back into the office. Um, but I'm trying not to let that get to me. I'm actually, I think I'm actually trying to use that as like more motivation because I have to, you know, three weeks, 21 ish days. It's enough to actually get a habit going, especially the habits that I've been building all summer. So I'm really hoping to finally get down everything in terms of nutrition. Um, so that when I do have to go back into the office, the only thing that I have to switch up is carrying my food with me versus keeping it in the fridge at home. That's it. So, Thanks for tuning in for update number four. Uh, make sure to check out anything else. If this is the first video you're seeing, go back and catch up. Go check out Matt's. Go check out anything you want. Don't forget to like, subscribe, do all the fancy stuff, and see you next time. I don't want it to drag with any of you.